Last week I was sitting on my couch doing one of my favourite activities, watching Netflix. I was in one of those moods where you click on one thing, get bored after two minutes and try something else. We've all been there. And while I was deciding what to watch, I stumbled across a Netflix documentary called Hogwood. I could tell by the thumbnail of the cute little pig and the title saying a modern horror story that it wasn't going to be pretty. Typically I avoid those types of films and I think most of us do. Because the majority of people absolutely hate seeing animals being mistreated. And a lot of people, including myself, just don't want to feel that anxiety. But there does come a point when you have to ask yourself, how long will I turn a blind eye for? In that moment, I don't know what happened. It was like an urge that came over me, but I felt a sense of responsibility that I had to watch this documentary. And so I clicked the play button and for the next 45 minutes, I pretty much watch it with my mouth wide open. Tears nearly streaming down my face because I learn how factory farms in the UK are treating animals. And I'm talking about pigs, chickens, cows and turkeys, all the most popular meats that we find in our local supermarkets, kept in the most horrendous conditions imaginable. Beaten, trampled, tortured, kept in such small spaces that they can't even move around for weeks or months on end. And guys, that's just the icing on the cake. And one of the most horrific things I discovered was that our favorite supermarkets, I'm talking about Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Lidl, Aldi, Morrison's, they are all supporting these farms. And that means they're pretty much funding and condoning the torture of animals. It's something that's pretty much swept under the rug by these big brands using clever marketing tactics and great advertising. Now, why am I telling you this, guys? Do I want you to become a vegan? Hell no. I love meat. I've been a meat eater my entire life. And even after watching this documentary, I don't think I'm gonna be quitting meat. But I also love animals. I've got two beautiful little cats called Sushi and Mackie. And it breaks my heart to even imagine someone mistreating them, let alone torturing them for months on end. And so I feel like it's my obligation as an animal lover to do my part. And that means using the little influence I have on this platform to urge you to watch this film. And I've made a promise to myself that I'm gonna stop buying meat from all these mainstream supermarkets that are supporting these factory farms. But I've done my research guys and there's plenty of other local farms or online organic delivery companies that get meat from trusted sources and it can be delivered straight to your front door. Where the animals are treated properly and for the short time they spend on this planet, they live happy lives. That's when I thought that's the very least I can do. I don't do much to help the planet. I drive a petrol car. I'm not very good with plastics, although I am getting better. And I do eat a lot of meat. But if I can stop one more animal from being tortured and killed in horrendous ways, then I can sleep just a bit easier at night. Okay, that's my rant over. I'll leave you with this last little message to say, please go and watch the film on Netflix. It's called Hogwood. See for yourself what's going on. Have a lovely weekend and remember, stay safe. Oh, I think the camera's pretty wide, so I'm gonna walk off this way.